How's it going everyone? It is Andre Williams and over here we talk stocks and we focus on one thing. Always protect your profits. And today we're going to be talking about AMC which was up almost 18% on the Friday, 17.99% to be exact. I have many people that have been asking me, Dre, we need an AMC video. Where do you see the stock going? So we'll talk about it in the video. I won't waste any more time. Let's jump into the agenda. If you're new to this channel, I just want to let you know we have timestamps down below inside the description. But if you're a shareholder, you're thinking about taking a position, I highly suggest you watch this full entire video. So the first thing we're going to go over is the technical analysis. We're going to be taking a look at the overall price action. We want to know support. We want to know resistance. We want to know what it looks like in a bearish case scenario and as well as in the bullish case scenario. And then we're going to be going on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information. The reason why this is important because it does have an impact on the way the stock performs. And then we're going to be taking a look at the order flow distribution. We want to know the buying and the selling behavior on the retail side and as well as on the institutional side. And then when all of that is done we'll be going into the final thoughts and as well as some more details so let's get to it so we're going to do a technical analysis for amc let's see how it performed on friday so it ended up closing at 14 dollars and 43 cents being up just under 18 percent being at 17.99 percent let's take a look at how it ranged on the low it was at 12 dollars and 40 cents and then on the high testing 14 dollars and 47 cents so when we take a look at the volume stats on the day you can see we traded at 8 89.906 million shares and the average volume over 10 trading days is at 50.178 million shares so we had above average volume on the day and it's part of the reasons why we've seen a lot of strength in the stock when we take a look at our chart which is the daily chart you can see from the RSI down below it's at 52.90 and then when we take a look at our moving averages here on the chart we are below the 200 day the 50 day but we are above the 21 day EMA which is great to see but since we are are trading below our 200 day moving average AMC is in a bear market so what we've seen so far is in a technical sense you could see we have a double bottom that is occurring and we had support where it kicked in right at 10 bucks we saw it kick in here on May the 12th and as well as taking into consideration May the 11th and now we could see most recently it was testing that on the 24th and as well as for the 25th and upon testing it on that 25th you could see right away we ended up forming two higher lows and we're on a strong uptrend to where AMC saw a high at $14.47 so what do we want to see from AMC we want to see a move going to $16 or $16.21 to be exact this is the next area where we could experience some resistance but if we could break out above this level especially above the 50 day which is at 1682 and AMC making that move to 17 it can get very interesting and part of the reasons behind that is if you take a look at the recent run-up that we had back in March remember we had support holding up around 1484 and upon holding this area we had a strong amount of buying volume that came in and AMC ended up seeing around $34 before it sold off so am I saying that this is going to be happening again no I'm not saying that but from what I'm seeing so far I don't see any reason why AMC shouldn't be able to to make a move to at least around $17 in the near term so I would definitely keep an eye on this play but if it decides to consolidate or maybe if it has a slight pullback if it could stay above the 21 day EMA which is at $13.25 that is a great look for this stock as well because if it wants to consolidate and then get ready for the next move up afterwards I could definitely get down with that but for the most part things are definitely looking good for AMC now let's move on to the short interest information so we're going to take a look at the recent institutional ownership and short interest information for AMC so scrolling down on the page green rows indicate new positions while red rows indicate closed positions so when we see the recent filings for the 27th we have TIF investment program with a short position of 48,435 shares that's quite significant right there and then we have BlackRock Advantage US total market fund that purchased 6,036 shares we see a closed position we'll go down 
further on the page, you can see a lot of activity here, but we're focusing on new and closed positions. So we have Walleye at closer position. We have over here a Columbia Small Cap Value Portfolio Class ADV that purchased 49,600 shares. And we have AQR Multi Asset Fund Class N with a short position of 6,797 shares. You can see a closed position there for the 26th as well. And then we see for the 25th, we have Y Strategic Interval Fund with a short position of 19,437 shares. And we have Goldman Sachs US equity dividend and premium fund institutional that had a position of 7,700 shares. And going down a bit further, we have BlackRock Variable Series Fund Inc. that purchased 2,654 shares. So now when we take a look at the short interest, the off exchange short volume ratio is at 55.13%. And then for the off exchange short volume, it is just over 28.67 million shares. Scrolling down, on the page the short shares availability is at 450,000 updated 19 minutes ago and then for the short ball fee rate it is at 7.61 percent and then when we take a look at the history of the short volume we can see for the close of the 26 it was at 56.19 and then for the close of the 27th being at 55.13. So right away, as we take a look at the short interest percentage of the float being at 21.12%, AMC does continue to have short squeeze potential. Now let's move on to the order flow distribution. Now let's take a look at the order flow distribution for AMC. So we see on the inflow, it's at 201 million, and then on the outflow, it's at 225 million. So we had an outflow day. Taking a look at the breakdown, on the large, it was 0.81 million, on the medium, it was 145 million, and then on the small, it was 55.57 million. Taking a look at the outflow side, you can see on the large, it was 0 0.90 million. On the medium, it was 163 million, and then on the small, it was 60.60 million. Taking a look at the large scale orders in the last five days, you can see for May the 27th, we had that outflow of 0 0.09 million, but you can see for the 26th, and as well as for the 25th, we had inflows of 0.84 million and as well as 1.27 million. Analyzing the numbers even further for the small scale orders that tends to represent the retail side, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at what happened on the medium, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the large, which represents whales, institutions, and funds, we had more selling than we had buying. And then when we take a look at the turnover ratio, it was at 17.40%. No surprises there. AMC is a volatile stock and it made a strong move on the Friday as well. So let's get into the final thoughts and we'll go over some more details as well. So for my final thoughts for AMC in the technical sense, things are definitely looking really strong. We have formed higher lows for the past three trading days alongside with higher highs. We also do see, and many people are saying, it is a return of the meme stocks. We saw GME leading up the pack with the strong move, AMC following. So this is why I say things could get very interesting. And here's why this is the case. We ended up seeing a high at $14.47. If AMC could break above this level, don't be shocked for this coming week, we see it trading at around $17. These stocks pick up very quickly. I know you guys are watching GME as well. So that's why I'm expecting a big move from AMC. I want to see this continuing. I can see the buying pressure coming into the market for the coming week. Will there be volatility? Of course. But at the end of the day, AMC is one of those plays when it gets going, it gets going. But another thing that I want to bring to your attention is the run up that we had in March. The moment we broke through $14.50, this stock ended up trading all the way to $34. So are we going to be getting a repeat of that? I know that question is going to be coming up. It would definitely be a good look, but that is something that I'm not guaranteeing, but we do know it could take off quite a bit and you want to make sure that you have a strategy to trade it. We've seen as the market has been beaten up, bulls buy this stock up when it's trading in the low $10 range, or I can even say to the mids. So the fact that it kept testing support around that $10 area and then just exploded to where we at today, I'm not shocked about that because we know right away the market has been beat up quite a bit and there are many that know about AMC stock and they don't mind loading up on shares when it's trading in the $10 range. And that is why I emphasize doing your homework and doing your
your due diligence. Because if you're looking at the chart and you see all those times where it was testing into the low tens and the bulls kept buying it up, that is a strong signal to tell us if the market is going to be turning around, AMC could pick up very quickly. Also, we went on Fintel, taking a look at the recent institutional ownership, we could see that there's a lot of activity amongst institutions. Not surprised because we know that AMC is a heavily traded play. And then taking a look at the short interest information, which I know many of you are going to know what the answer is going to be. Yes, it does have short squeeze potential. It continues to be the case. So that is why you want to keep a very close eye or if you've been able to add to your position while the stock has been beaten down, congratulations to you. We already know that this is a stock that has a strong movement behind it. So when the market turns around, you're definitely going to be reaping a lot of rewards. And that's why I say add to those dips as long as you do your homework and doing your research so you're confident enough to actually do that and you don't end up panic selling and so forth. I know many people were doing that, especially as the market was pulling back, but I'm just hoping that you use it as a learning experience. So you don't let that happen again. Make sure that you're managing your risk if you are a trader as well. But for the most part, AMC is definitely looking good. It was great to see how it broke out of that downtrend. And now I want to see $17 for this week. Come on, AMC, give it to us. If you want to go up higher, even better. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see how the stock performs for the coming week. We'll talk soon.